vertigo is a type of dizziness. So it specifically means that there's a, you feel a false sense of motion. And that can mean either you feel that you're moving when you're really not, or that the environment around you is moving. Again, even though it's, it's not. So it's that false sense of motion. So, causes of vertigo. Most causes actually are idiopathic, meaning there is no known cause. Sometimes we do know the cause, and some, some of them can be due to uh, these little crystals in your inner ear that are displaced. So they're in a position where they're not supposed to be, and that's what kind of creates that false sense of motion. Another type of cause could be uh, either a virus or an infection that attacks your that vestibular system in your inner ear. It also can be due to head trauma, so either motor vehicle accidents or concussions. Again, it kind of disrupts uh, that, that inner ear system and can cause that false sense of motion. How we treat vertigo, specifically positional vertigo, which involves the crystals in your inner ear being displaced, is we take the patient through a sequence of positions, um, specifically head positions, to try to get those crystals to go back to where they're supposed to be. We usually follow that with uh, different balance exercises because they're usually also off balance. If it's not the positional vertigo, and it's another type, then we usually treat by uh, taking them through what's called habituation exercises. So this takes the motion or the activity that actually provokes the symptoms, and we turn that into an exercise. And the whole theory behind it is the more exposure you have to that motion, your brain over time will start to adapt and you'll be able to tolerate that motion without having symptoms anymore. Here at Performance, I oversee our vestibular program. However, all the clinicians at all of our locations are trained and are able to treat patients with vestibular dysfunction.